Exciting times we live in, folks. I'm sitting in a car that is capable, not, well, physically capable, not software capable yet, uh, full self-driving. That is a Tesla Model S uh, with Autopilot 2.X, I guess we'll say, because technically it's called 2.0, but uh, officially it's like 2.5 because uh, they did some hardware upgrades. So I thought since full self-driving isn't currently available yet, since they're still working on the software and the uh, whole legal problems, you know, why don't we see how many cameras the car is currently using for autopilot? So we're gonna go out and start covering up some of the one of the, um, I think two at a time should be good, of the uh, eight cameras on the car. Now, there are three cameras facing forward, all with different focal lengths. You got a narrow view for further away, uh, mid range with slightly wider field of view, and a close range, which is pretty much as fish eye as you're going to get. There are one on each side pillar aiming out on an angle, and then on the turn signal markers, they're aiming backwards. And then the backup cam actually also doubles as a rear-facing autopilot camera. This gives the car's computer a 365 degree view. Now, since full self-driving isn't currently active or available, uh, the hardware's here, um, rumor has it that autopilot is only using one camera at this time. Uh, which would make sense because it's kind of like Autopilot 1, even though Autopilot 2X uh, still isn't anywhere near as reliable. But let's just see for sure if Tesla is, in fact, using just one camera or still collecting data from all of them. So we're going to cover up cameras and we're going to keep doing that until the car says Autopilot unavailable. So here we go. Well, autopilot is still functional even with two out of the eight cameras covered up. I'm going to pull over here and cover two more. This time I'm going to cover the side pillar cameras. So test two, we now have four out of eight cameras covered. All right, let's bring her to about 20 miles an hour. All right, we got autopilot again. Let's pull over here into the park. across from this lovely cemetery. All right, so now we've covered up the two side pillars, the two side markers. Uh, so that's four out of eight cameras. That leaves four left. We got three forward facing and we got the rear backup camera. So now let's do the backup camera. That's what duct tape looks like in HD. <laughs> All right, which way shall we go? Let's go to the right. Now, theory says uh, should work just fine, and that it does. We still have the autopilot. So, where shall we stop next? 
stop over on this cul-de-sac here. Now we got three cameras remaining. Getting strange looks from passers-by. Uh, now let's do the, ooh, well, we're gonna do one at a time for the forward-facing cameras. Obviously, one of them is still definitely gotta be required for forward-facing autopilot. Which one shall we do? Let's start with the long-range one. All right, I have what I think is the long-range camera covered up. And I miss not having my backup camera. <laughs> now, just a little background on the car I'm in. This is a, this is a loner. Um, I'm the first person ever to drive it, other than Tesla service. This was literally brand new. And we still got autopilot. Now we have only two cameras that are not covered up. So obviously what I thought might have been the long range camera is not the one that's being used for autopilot. All right, let's get another one. Whew, it's chilly out. 16 degrees Fahrenheit. We now have seven out of eight cameras covered. And I'm doing my best. It's a little hard not to cover more than one on the front here. And it looks like the center camera is the autopilot camera. Now, if I cover that one and it stops working, um, that's the end of our tests. Why? Because once the car detects that uh, the visibility is reduced, um, you're pretty much locked out of cruise control on autopilot for a while until the car, you know, until everything's cleared up. Um, this is mostly to prevent people from using autopilot in very inclement situations, such as bad snow or uh, 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 fog or really bad rain. So as our last test, since now we know the wide angle camera is the one that's being used for autopilot and it's just a single camera now, I'm gonna swap the tape around. I'm going to cover up the center one, the center camera, but I'm gonna uncover the two side cameras just to see if there's like a fail safe that if one camera goes down, the system will still work, at least for autopilot. Might not in the future work for autonomous driving, or, or no, I can't say autonomous, self-driving, but maybe still work for cruise control and, um, and standard autopilot. So let's do that. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna uncover the two long range cameras and I'm going to cover up the center wide angle camera and see if we'll still have autopilot after that. Now just as a recap, uh, autopilot one uses a single wide angle camera for the whole system. All right, move out. road holy crap I got autopilot huh that call 
files for just a wee bit more testing, wouldn't you say? And I got that covered fairly good. Hmm. Let me check the tape, make sure it is in fact blocking the whole view. And I'll take another piece of tape just in case and see if I can cover it more. But um, don't, well, let's just try it first before I make my conclusion. All right, let's take another crack at it. Um, just to make sure, remove any doubt while well, you saw, because I got my little body camera there. Let's see what we got here. Turn the screen a little brighter. It's one thing I noticed with Autopilot 2 hardware is the auto adjust brightness for the screen works horrible. All right, I got two faded lines. One faded line, two again. Well, how about that? It's quite possible that the car is using more than one forward-facing camera for redundancy for autopilot. Well, that's just freaking awesome. All right, so. I don't know where to go from here. Uh, let's cover up. All right, I got the uh, wide angles covered completely. Um, let's cover up the long range camera and see what we got. Cut off a little bit bigger piece of tape here. The only camera that's not blocked right now is the mid-range camera. Let's see what we get. I'm still getting lines showing up. How about that? I think that's something. to go from here. Um, a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to block a little more. It's just cover a little more of it. Restrict that wide angle camera's field of view a little more. And then as the final test, as the control, uh, we're going to block all three cameras. on. Uh, let's do the long range only camera. Two more tests. Let the vehicle pass. And I still got... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, oh, okay, that's something, that's something I wasn't expecting. Okay, discovery, discovery, and this confirms Tesla is in fact using all three forward-facing cameras to make Autopilot 2 more reliable, even though it's still not as reliable as Autopilot 1 quite yet, but maybe in the future. So, um... What am I going to do to show this? Uh, we'll use the action camera, or the body camera here. And uh, let's, let's get back out on the road. And I'll show you. Come on. I think we're getting blinded by a little bit of sunshine here.
Okay, it sees the lines, but it won't activate. There we go. Now, here's what I want to show you all. The, uh, the autopilot lines don't appear to go as far as... Oh, did this stop recording? All right, do over. I'm gonna snap a shot. I'm just gonna take a quick picture. The lines for autopilot don't go as far as they normally would. Usually it wouldn't show the uh, the two lines marking the lanes uh, further down than it does now with the uh, two cameras blocked. Quite impressive. So let's pull in right here again. And finally our control Three cameras covered. Oh, it's giving me traffic aware cruise control. No autopilot, does not see any lines at all. Yep, nothing. So uh, it's definitely able to use a combination of cameras, forward facing cameras, to allow the use of autopilot it's just not using a single camera like autopilot one is so yeah we're not seeing any lines now um, and I've noticed this too on my autopilot one car my 90d uh, if it can't see any lines for a while such as you know uh, say s snow that has slid down onto the windshield a little bit or something um, it will still let me use traffic aware cruise control for quite some time before it will say uh, uh, reduce camera visibility and then in, in that case it won't let me use um, auto, uh, autopilot or TACC um, now one other thing it sometimes waits for um, if the radar detects something is that the camera cannot see if it happens a little bit too much um, then it will also disable so um, let's go around the corner here and we're gonna TACC traffic cruise control uh, right up behind a car let's find a car on the road <clears throat> oh, mailman there we go let's do the mail vehicle Okay, so, uh, just from past experience, the car should have slowed down when approaching behind that mail truck, or car parked on the side of the road if I'm directly behind it. Uh, it did not. So, it seems like the radar is not even doing its job, even though, even though uh, the cameras can't see it, the radar should have been able to see the, the mail truck there, and... Uh, and pretty much slow us down and stop. I've done that test myself on my 90D with Autopilot 1, and it was a pass. So, conclusion. Awesome, Tesla's using three cameras of different focal lengths for Autopilot on Autopilot 2.0, or 2X vehicles. Um, the downside is Autopilot 2X still sucks and is still nowhere near as reliable as Autopilot 1. Um, 
I've put on I've put on 400 miles on this car on this 90D uh, since dropping off my or on this 100D since dropping off my 90D on last week Friday. Uh, in that time, this car has done numerous sudden slamming on brakes for absolutely nothing uh, and very poor lane keeping. Uh, so. Uh, a whole nother video on that but um, I mean it's a start they're using three cameras so they got redundancy at least now um, and three cameras showing different focal lengths um, to give a wider field of view and different angles and it's kind of sad they're not using the side marker cameras yet but um, just the fact that they're using three forwards uh, is still still pretty awesome so uh, what are your comments uh, make sure you put them in the comment box below. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, if you would like to help support my channel, please consider contributing through my Patreon. Links in the box below. If you want to support my channel without contributing through Patreon, I also have a link where you could mine some Monero hashes for me. Um, just, it's all browser-based, nothing to install. Open the browser, hit start mining. Maybe leave it go overnight. Every little bit helps. Thank you all and see you next video.